did was to make the players. First I had to make a cell which I made simple and just a pink circle. Uh, I named this the cell. After this I made it so that the cell could always follow your mouse. So, I said that on start, when the game started, it would always point towards the mouse point. And then, it would also always move 11 pixels forward, which would be toward the mouse. And I also made it so that if its lives were zero, or less than 0 0.5, it would say you died for z two seconds, and the game would end. Uh, then I made the virus, which always followed the cell and was one pixel slower than the cell. And when it touched the cell, when it touched the cell, it would make a sound. So when the touch sense that it touches, touched the virus, it would change its lives by negative one, which would kill itself one time and respawn at a random position. When the virus touched the cell, it would make a noise. Uh, there's this tool called add sound over here. And it gives all these sounds like, or some other sounds. Tinker.com is basically a block coding. So you, have all your commands over here. Uh, after that, I made the white blood cell, which basically picked the location at the top of the screen from negative 680x to 670x and y at 380. And then I caused it to show itself. After that, it would always change its y position by negative one to negative three pixels. So fall at a speed from negative one to negative three. And when it touched the virus or touched the bottom of the screen, it would play a sound and hide itself and then respawn at the top of the screen. When the virus touched this, it would hide itself, go to a random position on the screen and wait a second, and then it show itself again. Uh, after that, I made an antibody, which moved eight pixels and always pointed toward the virus. And it would always uh, go to a random position on the screen at the start of the game. Uh, also, the antibody never can die in the game. Uh, then to make uh, the game have an objective, I made these health, health drops, which would always check if your health level was over 100. And if it was, it would say you won for two seconds. And so when it touches the cell, it will play a sound, go to a random position, and change your health level by one, which increases it. Then I also made a health level thing, which watches your, how many of these you have. After that, I made a variable, which I just did this. Uh, I made it a global variable, 
reset it on stop, and this basically watched their lives for the cell and for the others. And so after run away from the virus, which is this, the green thing, and the virus gets killed by the antibody and by the white blood cell. The antibody is chasing the virus. So every time I eat these heart thingies, it will increase my health level. And I only have seven lives left now. I need to get 100 to win.